Joe Volpe, publisher of the Corriere Canadese, North America's only Italian language daily newspaper, uh, here for Go Live TV and Corcan Media Group with the comment of the day. And believe it or not, it's still Brett Kavanaugh. So, it's not much of an exaggeration to say that the Western world is gripped by the drama of the Brett Kavanaugh Senate Judiciary. Committee hearings, sex and violence sell. So, you know, Judge Kavanaugh and um, Helmut Oberlander have learned that lying does matter. It matters so much that today, even though we had the discussion about the NAFTA agreement being replaced by the USA-Mexico-CA, Canada, uh, trade agreement, during the discussions with the, pre the president, everybody wanted to talk about Judge Kavanaugh. So whether Judge Kavanaugh will be confirmed as a Supreme Justice will depend to some extent on the credibility of his own self-definition as a sexually moral individual who resisted the temptations of an environment where wanton excess and ribaldry were the order of the day. He may well have been a character taken out of the father knows best genre of American sitcom TV series of the 1950s and the early 60s, before his time. Some have already surfaced to suggest strongly that he has no personal adherence to the societal values extolled in those sitcoms. It cannot be that he simply saw, but he didn't participate, they say. They do not contest that he was also a dedicated student and athlete. Those qualities got him to where he is, an accomplished jur jurist. They do say that he was prone to excess in drinking and in activities that were openly disrespectful or abusive of the other gender. He lied, they say. Does it matter? Even if they are right, Kavanaugh is a different man today, or so goes the argument. But victims and survivors live with such degrading assaults forever. A long-time lady, family friend, confiding that she had been subjected to and escaped a similar incident of undignified, unwanted attention in her teens, admitted that maybe people move on. But it's not right, she says. Even if Kavanaugh was in his teens when the allegations of his abusive conduct manifested, it's not even a question of forgiveness, she said. In his position, he will be setting the tone for what is acceptable. He is not just the sum of the books he has read, but the character that he has been since reaching the age of reason. That is, when he could tell right from wrong. In Canada, coincidentally, on the day that the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee agreed to move the Kavanaugh hearings to the next level only on condition that the FBI conduct a supplemental investigation prior to the congressional vote, a federal court in Canada found that Helmut Oberlander had lied on his citizenship application in 1960. Jewish advocacy groups and the Holocaust survivors they represent were overjoyed. They have maintained for decades that Oberlander, a Ukrainian by birth, was a member of a Nazi SS group responsible for the execution of thousands of civilians, the majority Jewish, during World War II. Oberlander, now 94 years old, has always claimed that he was only 16 at the time. His involvement was as an interpreter, conscripted under pain of death to provide translation services. Moreover, he claimed not to have participated in or to know of the mass killings. No one has ever proven otherwise. Since his immigration to Canada in 1954, he has been what some will say a model citizen. A successful entrepreneur, he has provided employment for thousands of people in the Kitchener area and helped that community grow. He made every effort to move on. No matter, said Justice Michael Phelan, he lied on his application for residency and for citizenship when he failed to disclose that he had had ties to Nazis. 
he will have his citizenship revoked. Joe Volpe, thanking you for listening and asking you to follow us on Corriere.com. Please stay tuned for our commentary in Italian.